Good afternoon. My name is Chris Ann Rudig. I'm 56 years old and now self-employed. Six years ago, I was employed in high tech as an HR analyst. At that time, I enjoyed the benefits of a generous health care plan, including dental and vision and private disability. In spite of a history of good health, while in my 40s, I experienced several unexpected health events, including a hereditary sleep apnea, a significant congenital hearing loss, and a rare heart condition. Fortunately, my health care plan took care of these big ticket medical expenses. But in 2003, my world changed overnight when I was laid off from my job while on a workers' comp leave of absence. My Blue Cross PPO plan converted to a COBRA plan, and the monthly premium soared to more than $500 a month. Then the unthinkable happened. The nerve damage in my arm was permanent, which meant I could no longer go back to my job. My career and my income ended abruptly. At age 49, I began retraining for a new career. My COBRA plan converted to a HIPAA plan, which is a very expensive, extremely limited medical plan with high deductible and copay, and often referred to by insurance agents as end of the road insurance, and they weren't kidding. Under this plan, the ACL surgery I need for my knee is out of the question. I can no longer afford the copay for a routine cardiology checkup. Unlike my former COBRA plan, hearing aids are no longer covered. Hearing aids cost $7,000 and must be replaced every three years. The HIPAA plan offers no vision or dental. During the past six years, I have paid $54,000 in healthcare premiums. And with the exception of one routine mammogram, I have not once filed a claim under my HIPAA plan. The premiums are now at a staggering $800 a month with a $1,500 a year deductible and a 30% copay. My medical insurance is unusable. Throughout my life, I believed I was doing all the things right to be a responsible citizen and planning for my future. In spite of the fact that my new business is thriving, I am angry that the majority of my discretionary income is spent on medical insurance that I cannot use. Today, the medical care I receive is from understanding medical professionals who are willing to trade my professional services. I've stopped taking my prescription medicines because the outrageous cost of the copay. Based on an unfortunate experience earlier this year, I am now terrified by the fact that a couple of unbudgeted root canals could cause me to miss several mortgage payments. My hearing aids need replacement, but $7,000 is out of the question. And I fear that I won't be able to be competitive in my business if I can't hear. Before I was asked to share this story, I didn't allow myself to even think about healthcare situation because it was so overwhelming. I was feeling a sense of personal failure because of accumulating debt. But when I did the math for this presentation, I realized that the amount of my debt is exactly equal to the amount that I've paid for medical insurance since I was laid off. As a result, I am no longer willing to see this situation as my fault. Instead, I can see that what I've accomplished in the past six years is nothing short of amazing. I've retrained in a new career, self-funded a business startup, and made it profitable in 12 months. Clearly, I've done my part. It's the healthcare system that's failed.